Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In the perpetual pursuit of safeguarding its vast naval assets, the United States Navy has consistently demonstrated its unwavering commitment to innovation and superiority on the high seas. Today, we will discuss the groundbreaking measures undertaken by the U.S. Navy to protect its largest ships. The United States Navy boasts an impressive fleet of the largest ships, including the Nimitz-class and Gerald R. Ford aircraft carriers, which are the pinnacle of maritime power projection. These enormous vessels measure over 1,000 feet in length and displace approximately 100,000 tons. They serve as floating air bases equipped with advanced aviation facilities. Among the many remarkable features of these mighty carriers is their built-in aircraft carrier weapon system. These cutting-edge systems incorporate a combination of offensive and defensive capabilities, providing the ship with exceptional combat effectiveness. The weapon system comprises 50-caliber machine guns, a formidable asset in aerial combat scenarios. They fire 50-caliber rounds at a rapid rate. These weapons have an effective range of up to 2,000 meters, with a cyclic rate of 550 to 850 rounds per minute. The muzzle velocity reaches approximately 2,900 feet per second. And its armor-piercing capabilities make it ideal for engaging ground and air targets. Another critical defense system deployed by the U.S. Navy is the Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS. Utilizing a radar-guided Gatling gun, it provides a last line of defense against anti-ship missiles and aircraft threats. With a firing rate of up to 4,500 rounds per minute, it effectively neutralizes incoming targets within a close range of approximately one to two nautical miles. On the ship's fantail, sailors engaged in the critical task of reloading ammunition into the close-in weapon system, or CIWS, with utmost precision. They handled the munitions, carefully inserting them into the designated slots. Adhering to strict safety protocols, they swiftly replenish the system's supply, ensuring a continuous defensive capability against incoming threats. Each round is meticulously loaded, ensuring compatibility with the CIWS's rapid-fire mechanism. The sailors worked swiftly, yet methodically, guaranteeing a steady supply of munitions to sustain the system's defensive capabilities. Upon successfully loading the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS, sailors stand ready to conduct CIWS Phalanx Automated Control Fire. With their hands steady and minds focused, 
they activate the automated control system, enabling the CIWS to track and engage incoming targets autonomously. This capability ensures a swift response to potential threats, bolstering the ship's defense. The Navy also conducts Detect to Engage, or DTE, tests and exercises to assess the Phalanx close-in weapon system's effectiveness against low-flying aerial threats. During these exercises, the ship's automated radar tracking system is put to the test, detecting the P-8 Poseidon and providing real-time data to the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS, with unparalleled precision. Upon identification, the system engages with a burst of rapid-fire projectiles, neutralizing the target with exceptional speed and accuracy. The DTE test challenges the CIWS to defend against low-flying threats at varying speeds and altitudes. The Thales Goalkeeper is another type of close-in weapon system, CIWS, that provides the aircraft with a unique defense system against incoming airborne threats. Developed by Thales Group, this system is widely utilized by the U.S. Navy. With a primary focus on countering anti-ship missiles, the Goalkeeper system combines cutting-edge radar tracking, advanced computing, and rapid-firing Gatling gun technology. Equipped with a search radar and tracking radar, the system is capable of detecting and tracking multiple targets simultaneously. The production of Thales Goalkeeper involves a meticulous process that combines advanced engineering and high-quality materials. Skilled technicians meticulously assemble the system, ensuring each component is flawlessly integrated. Premium materials, including durable alloys and composite materials, are used to construct the structure and components of the goalkeeper. This guarantees the system's ability to withstand harsh maritime environments. Stringent quality control measures are implemented throughout the production process to maintain the system's reliability. Thales leverages its expertise in electronics and defense technology to incorporate cutting-edge features into the goalkeeper system. The effectiveness of these gun systems is ensured through the initial tests and evaluations before installation. For instance, in a landmark demonstration at the USS Dahlgren, a ship-like test bed in 2016, the Navy conducted extensive testing of a strike group's gun weapon systems, combat systems, and unmanned vehicles' interoperability with surface and air assets. This evaluation encompassed the entire kill chain, from planning to assessment. The demonstration showcased the integration of capabilities across multiple laboratories, utilizing both unmanned and manned sensor platforms. It involved engaging a simulated hostile swarm threat of surface craft targeting a virtual naval battle group. Well, this is fast. Shot correction as follows. 54 yards long, 36 yards right. 54 yards long, 36 yards right. The sailors utilized various weapon systems, such as the LCS 30mm gun, Aegis MK-46 gun systems, 5-inch guns, and simulated Hellfire missiles. The test demonstrated the integration of existing capabilities with new technologies, ensuring the fleet's readiness and ability to counter real-world threats. 
the results of these tests inform the decisions regarding the selection and installation of gun systems on aircraft carriers and ships, ensuring their effectiveness in protecting naval assets and personnel in future operations. U.S. Navy aircraft carriers are also protected by an advanced air defense system. These systems typically include, in addition to radar systems and close-in weapon systems, or CIWS, surface-to-air missiles. Notably, the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile, or RAM. Designed for short-range engagements, the RIM-116 RAM utilizes infrared guidance and advanced maneuverability to intercept and destroy incoming anti-ship missiles, as well as other airborne threats. Its rapid reaction time, 360-degree coverage, and ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously make it an effective defensive weapon. With its agile maneuvering capability and high-speed interceptor, the RAM can engage multiple targets simultaneously, ensuring a robust defensive shield for naval assets. Besides naval systems, the U.S. Navy employs some armaments that are usually used by the U.S. military to foster its capabilities. This includes the HIMARS launchers, During joint exercises, the two branches must ensure the transportation of the HIMARS launchers from land to water. Upon reaching the designated loading area, the landing craft opens their gates. The crew proceeds to secure stability by attaching the mooring lines. Carefully, the HIMARS launcher is transported on its wheeled chassis and subsequently loaded onto the landing craft. The HIMARS launchers are highly versatile and mobile rocket artillery systems are capable of rapidly deploying and launching a variety of munitions including guided rockets and missiles to engage targets at extended ranges. During the training, personnel simulate various scenarios to practice rapid deployment. where the crew familiarizes themselves with the process of deploying and operating the HIMARS launcher on the vessel. This includes ensuring secure positioning, conducting system checks, practicing launch and firing procedures, and coordinating with other units. These exercises not only validate the system's mobility and effectiveness, but also foster the seamless integration of HIMARS capabilities with amphibious operations, strengthening joint force readiness. The U.S. Navy stands at the forefront of naval innovation, demonstrating unwavering commitment to protecting its vast assets. With mighty ships and cutting-edge weapon systems like Phalanx and Goalkeeper CIWS, they ensure superior defense on the high seas. While the RIM-116 RAM and HIMARS launchers add layers of protection, leaving no room for compromise. Rigorous testing and integration of new technologies further enhance readiness.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.